Hello everyone, welcome back to E2E Sectiona program. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar. In this lecture of mobile application development, I will be demonstrating how the background task can be used in the mobile application development. So the topic name is background task. Even you can call it as asynchronous task. So what is the task means? Once again, as I said in my previous lecture, task is nothing but a service. So coming to the services which are there in bed, which we are going to use in our application to accomplish some task. There are two kind of services. One foreground service, other one is background service. Even you can call it as foreground task or background task. What is the background task means? For example, just if you uh, imagine, so if you are playing a music player and if you get out of that music player, so the song will be played in the background and you will be doing the text in the WhatsApp. That means the task that is executing in the background. So in this particular video, I'm going to execute that kind of task. So I'm not going to develop a music player which is, which is going to play in the background. Instead of that, I'm going to use a text view that is going to work even in the background. So if you are doing anything else in your mobile application. Okay, so the background task is very much required to efficient utilization of the processing power of any device. For example, so just imagine this is my computer. This is my computer. So in this computer, I can run only one application which is visible on the screen. Is it possible to utilize the 100% processing power, 100% and capacity of this device? No. Why? Because I may be using a complex uh, software which occupies, which works 60% of its processing power. What about remaining 40%? It will be wasted, right? It will be simply wasted. So to overcome this drawback, we are going to make use of threading. So even in this kind of background task, we are going to make use of threading. Without multi-threading, we cannot efficiently utilize the processing power or the system capability of any mobile device or that may be any computer. So background task, you might be running music player or you might be running any other application that will be running in the background. In foreground, you may be using, you may be, you may be using any particular game, you are maybe in playing a game or you may be uh, watching WhatsApp or you may be watching something else. So to, uh, with the, without background task, so your mobile application, mobiles will become useless. At a time you can operate only one application if it is not capable of executing in the background. That's why the background task, background service is a very useful and most important service in the mobile application development or not only in mobile application development, even in the computers. Without the background service, you cannot efficiently utilize the compute processing power and you cannot do multiple, multi-processing. Okay, so in this to particular application, I'm going to develop a simple application where I'm going to demonstrate a simple background task. So I'm not going to make it comp complex. I'm not going to develop any music player or video player here. Just I'm going to develop a simple uh, mobile app. So where I will be giving the name, even you can call it as an asynchronous task, not only background task, Asynchronous. What is that asynchronous? What is that synchronous? If your task is correlated with the other task, such task is called synchronous task. Asynchronous task. If your task is not correlated, not dependent on another task, such task is called asynchronous task. Even the background task can be called as asynchronous task. So that's what the title I'm going to give. Async task. This is the title, then I'm going to use two buttons here, start and stop. So and I will be using a text view, just note down this, I will be using a text view which is not visible, okay, which gets invisible when you click on stop. If you click on start, it will be visible and it will be floating. 
like uh, how the rotation of fonts will happen. So it will be floating. So that's why I will make it as a mark you text. Okay. So to demonstrate this mark you text will execute in the background irrespective of what you are doing in this mobile application. This is what I am going to design. So in mark you text I will be using some test text here. So totally I will use first text view. So I am going to use constraint layout itself for this application development. So don't use, sorry, don't use constraint layout. Why? Because why I should not use constraint layout for this application. So if you make use of constraint layout, so this text that you are going to place will become fixed both on top, bottom, left, right. But as per my design requirement, this text must float. For that purpose, you have to use relative layout. It's better to go with the relative layout. So first one text view. This is for title purpose, only for title. Just I'm going to display the title. Next, buttons to, to start and stop. Next, one text view. For result, and please remember, so it should be invisible, it should be made invisible. These are the additional features that you have to add with respect to this result text view. It should be invisible and it should be mark you forever. And you have to provide the ellipse size. And you have to provide the margins. So if you add all these features, then you can find the rotation of this text or the floating of this text whenever you click on start. So whenever you click on stop, this particular task will disappear. So this is a simple demonstration how the background services will be invoked. Even if you are doing anything else on the application, this background task will be executed in the background. To title, start, stop. When the user click on start, this background asynchronous task demonstration will be floated, will be floating by making it as a mark you text. When a user click on stop, this will disappear. So by developing this simple application, I am demonstrating how the background task can be invoked in the mobile application development. So let's start the demonstration. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the background task by creating a simple application how the background task will execute in Android Studio how to make use of those background tasks even you can call it as asynchronous task uh, in Android application development so by developing a simple application so by using two simple buttons start and stop so when I click on start this uh, that particular asynchronous task should execute in the background when I click on stop so it must stop so let's open the Android Studio and start developing that particular application. Android Studio. So because uh, there are in task there are two times one is uh, synchronous task other one is asynchronous task synchronous task means the tasks which are closely dependent on each other so the tasks which are not dependent on each other such tasks will be called as asynchronous task such task will execute in the background so asynchronous task or the background task is a very important feature for multi-threading purpose. You might be using one application, some other application may be running in the background. So that can be accomplished by using multi-threading using in the form of asynchronous tasks. So my Android Studio is ready. So we are going to create a new project. So the project name is 
asynchronous task. Task. And I'm going to click on finish. Or even you can call this task as a background task. So I have to wait till the Gradle script uh, synchronization will happen. Once the Gradle script is synchronized, we can start executing. Firstly, we will come up with the development of design. So because the application that I'm going to develop now uh, is having a very important part in uh, design, why? Because I need to place a text view that will be visible only when the task is running in the background so once the task is not running in the background that particular text view should not be visible to the user that's how i'm going to demonstrate the background task or asynchronous task in this particular application that we are going to develop so that kind of text view is called as a marquee text so that doesn't mean that you have to create a, uh, you have to add a new component you are going to make use of the same component just the thing is in place of making the visibility you are going to set the visibility as false so that it will not be visible to the user So, my uh, general synchronization is done. So, so, let's start the design. So, once my design is ready, so because uh, until this process is running, message is completed, you cannot start the design. So, finished. So, we will start the design. So my design is getting initialized. So firstly, so I'm going to make use of uh, edit text for the naming purpose. So I'm going to use the same edit text which is available here in this application which we have created right now. So I'm going to increase the size and the font. So I'm going to change the text. So in place of hello word, I am going to add a text asynchronous task or background task. And I am going to change the size of this text. So next, I am going to add two buttons. Uh, why because this task will be demonstrated by using those two buttons whenever the user clicks on that first button that uh, background task should execute another one or the user clicks on another button the background task should stop so that I am adding two buttons here first button is for start another one new button this is for stop so text I'm going to change the text associated with these two buttons first one is start and the second one is next so i'm going to add another one component that is text view 
So this is a one which using which I am going to demonstrate this background task. So which will be made invisible. So once the user clicks on start button, it will be made visible to the user. So once the clicks the stop button, so it will be once again it will be made invisible. So with respect to this one, I need to add the features, so many features such as absorb. I will go to code or because I need to make it as, win, it as win visible. So just go to the code part of the design. So I'm going to change the uh, IDs. The first one is buttons. First one button IDs. What's the text associated with this one is start. I'm going to change this ID to button btn start. So ID of start button is btn start. So the ID of stop button is btn stop. So next I'm going to add a I have added a text view. So I'm going to change the features of this text view Why? because this is the one which is going to give the result. For this I'm going to change the ID. So I'm going to make it as mark you text mark you text so and I'm going to change the text also the text is demonstration of a synchronous task So next, I'm going to add the visibility as additional feature. Visibility. So I will make it invisible. The text has been made invisible. So next, I'm going to add another one feature that is elect size. That is, it's a mark you text. Means it is invisible, and whenever the user clicks on stop button, it will be rotating. Next. So then I have to provide the mark you repeat limit. So mark you repeat limit is forever. Then I have to select the scroll horizontal. Scroll horizontally. I need to set it as true. Then I have to select single line and it is true then i have to set the margins for start uh, top end bottom so that our margins i'm going to set margin start so i'm going to provide for the margin start is equal to 50 density independent then I need to provide margin top that is 250 density independent pixels. Next I need to provide the margin end that is 117 density independent pixels. Why? Because I am making the text to be appeared as a mark you text which will be rotating like animation. Then finally, margin end, margin end, so margin end is already provided, I need to provide margin button. margin bottom. So for that I'm going to provide 207 density independence pixels. So just observe these are the things that you have to change in the text view that we have added in the uh, design. Firstly I have changed the ID that is mark you text. Then I have changed the text that is demonstration of asynchronous task or uh, background task. Then I have changed the visibility of this particular text to invisible. Then I have changed the ellipse size to mark you. So then I have set the mark you repeat list forever 
then scroll horizontally true is it single line yes it is single line text and have set the margin for top bottom start and end by using a specific density meter independent pixels so start is 50 dp top is 250 dp it's so 170 dp for end 207 dp for bottom so that's all and along with this have made changes with respect to the ids of start button as well as stop button so we are going to refer the same ids in our program btn start and btn stop so just if you look at this design you can observe you can observe your so the text is available but which is not visible for the user so we have made it invisible by setting the visibility to false invisible and what's the text size we need to change the text size also which we have not done why because otherwise it will be very small which to observe in the output so just we are going to add those text sizes here that is after this I'm going to add text size I will set 20 SP scale independent next I'm going to set the text style that is I will made it I will made it I'm making it bold so now observe it may be now a little bigger compared to the previous one just observe so the text view is available here but it is not visible as of now so this is the design thing that you have to do with respect to this demonstration of background services or asynchronous task the text view that is readily available has been renamed as asynchronous task and i've had a two buttons one is start and stop button then I have visited the code. In the code, I have changed and made the necessary changes to make the text view as marked text view. And I have changed the uh, ID of button start as well as button stop. And I have added the additional features which are required to make the normal text view as marked text view for the demonstration of background services. So now, let's start the coding of uh, this creation of background task in Java part. Firstly, I'm going to declare the text view in the text view as a global variable so that it can be accessed throughout our program text view and I'm going to give the reference as mark you text. Mark you text. So next, after that, I'm going to declare two buttons which I'm going to use, that is button, so that is btn, button, start, another one is button, stop. So next, after adding these three variables, one is mark your text, other one is uh, button start and button stop next let's start the uh, actual initialization actual identification of these three things why because this ids has been identified uh, in the previous step itself while designing so mark you text is equal to find you by id or dot id dot mark you text Next, btn start is equal to find view by id. I am recognizing the start button for that we have used btn start as id. btn stop is equal to find view by id or dot id dot btn stop. So we are done with declaring the three variables which we are going to use in our program along with that we are done with the identification of those three components which are there in 
the design by using their IDs. So now let's start writing the actions for listeners using listeners for this button. Firstly, I will write the actions for BT and start dot set the listener new on get listener. Okay. So once of that inside this particular on click, I'm going to place the logic that is example asynchronous task so don't worry about this error will rectify I will be automatically rectified new example asynchronous Why? Because we don't have class in this name. That's why I'm showing the error. So I'm creating a class by name. Or just I'm using a class by name. I'm creating instance of class by name. Asynchronous task. Example asynchronous task. But this class name is not there in my program. That's why I'm getting the error. Okay. So this error will be rectified in the coming steps. So task dot execute. So when a user clicks on start button, so this asynchronous task must be created and it must be executed. So next, similarly for button stop, if, the, if you click on button start, if it is starting the execution means what will be done in the button stop? The execution will be stopped. So where I'm adding the action listener, new, view on click action listener, so whenever the user clicks on this so it's very simple i'm going to select the mark you text i'm going to make it invisible set selected and i will make it as false the mark you text will become false means it will be become invisible and the visibility of the mark you text set visibility so view yes. so just observe whenever user clicks on stop button so the mark you text will be made false means it will be removed and it, its visibility visibility will not be there in the view so that's what about the start this is what the functionality that we are going to place it in the start button and stop button so once after placing the uh, logic in the start button and stop button now we have to write the code for this background task why because that's where we are getting the error so that's what i'm going to do right now so i'm going to write private class same name should be used that is this name example asynchronous task so even if you copy and paste it fine extends asynchronous task can you please observe the choice asynchronous task and you have to pass the parameters in the form of a three string 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 and string next so if you place cursor here it will show implements method do in background select that one. instead of the do in background so we are going to use on protected pre execute so we are going to write that one so that method should be implemented 
protected protected void on pre execute super dot on pre execute and you have to toast that message that is toast dot make the text so get the base context not the application context you have to use the base context and you have to toast this message that start asynchronous task has been start asynchronous task started next and make it the give the duration that is length long finally dot show dot show that's all about this so just we have used this example asynchronous task so what we have here created a private class example asynchronous task which extends asynchronous task which is already there so once it is showing it was showing error because we have to implement do in background once you implement it write a protected method so on pre execute print a toast message that asynchronous task has been started so next so with respect to on do background so we have to place the try catch block and finally you have to place the null method try try the thread Why? because it's a application this background uh, uh, task is a application of multi threading thread make the thread to sleep for 250 milliseconds 250 milliseconds so in catch block you have to place the corresponding exception that's what add the clause clause corresponding exception is interrupted exception it's a e print track trace there is no need of typing this so why because just observe what i have done here is so if i remove this it will be showing an error here so just select so it will be asking you to Mm, write the catch block catch so just observe will be showing error like this so add the catch clause just so if you click on it it will only automatically uh, you place the code that is it said this kind of if you are using thread means the type of exception that we can uh, catch is an interrupted exception so that can be traced using eprint track trace so next the last one this is for pre-execute on pre-execute so you are throwing a toast message that is asynchronous task has been started so what will happen on post execute so that is on post execute on post execute just observe so what we are going to do is it's a very simple one so we are going to make the in place of this just because when, when the, once you click on start this asynchronous task has been has to be started but on post execute on post execute this mark your text should be visible to the user that's what the main objective right mark your text dot set visibility set visibility to visible and set mark your text dot set selected to in place of false you are making it true that's it so just observe it's a very simple logic so this is the core part of background task that background task name is example asynchronous task which extends the uh, asynchronous task which is there 
so it will be having two parts on pre execute on post execute on pre execute the toast message is printed with the message asynchronous task has been started on post execute on post execute the marked text will be made visible and it will be made as true so while doing it in the background it will be trying to crash make the thread to sleep for 250 milliseconds if there is exception this particular exception will be cached in the catch block so coming to the start it's very simple when you click on start so this task will be created and task will be executed once you click on stop uh, this particular mark your text will be made false and it will be made invisible so coming to the variables which i have used here the text view and the variable is mark your text and button the uh, variable is button start and button stop and those three components which are there in the design has been identified and the action listener has been added for both button start and button stop in button start action listener in on click we are creating a task and we are executing it in button stop action listener we are uh, making the mark text invisible and we are setting it false so coming to the threading so background task we will be having three parts on pre execute just we are printing a toast message on post execute we are making the mark text as visible and we are setting it as true so in between that we have that uh, in background we will be trying to catch the exception so coming to the design so it is same what we have discussed we will be having uh, three things one is title two buttons and invisible text so once the user clicks on this start button this invisible text that demonstration of background task will start rotating once the user click on stop it will become invisible this is a simple demonstration of background task so before i show the output firstly i will let me clear the uh, avd manager space why because it will be occupying so i am working with the system with very limited storage capabilities so and i will update the gradle scripts so that he will not space any errors while executing it this is a very simple application so for so wonderful demonstration of so background services background task how the task will be executed in the background in mobile applications okay now let's start the execution so i will click on the play button so that we can see the output this is a simple exam demonstration on the background task even you can call it as asynchronous task which is not dependent on any other so just whatever you are going to uh, execute will be executed independently uh, it is not dependent on any other operation such kind of tasks are called asynchronous tasks so for that we are going to make use of for background task we are going to make use of thread so whenever you are going to use thread so it must be halted for limited number of time in the terms of milliseconds if it is it's not possible to halt it then interrupt exception will be cached in the catch block that's why so keep in mind whenever you are working with a thread application the try catch block is mandatory so the exception that we are going to get is interrupted exception so my execution of my particular application is ready so it's almost done so we can see the output we are waiting for the emulator to come online once the target device uh, comes to online i will show the output here itself so if this particular feature is was absent in any mobile application or even in a computers if this background tasks are threading up uh the concept is not there so we would all not use multiple applications at a time this is a wonderful feature which is there in uh, mobile apps or in computer applications where the task can run in the background if this feature was not there we would have not utilized the compute uh utilization of the devices is not possible without using without this background tasks background tasks are very much important in efficient utilization of system power
so my phone is getting ready so you can see the output so once the installation happens here just if you click on start button install the application is getting installed activity my application has been installed just observe I will show the output how the output will appear in this background task click on start so just observe this task is executing in the background so if I click on stop this will disappear start so the mark your text will appear stop so this is one good example for background tasks or even you can call it as asynchronous tasks so without this kind of application it's not possible to make efficient utilization of uh, the computer devices so by using threading so i guess you guys have enjoyed this session thank you